Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is your host, Jania Butler, for the New American Perspective. This Wednesday, September 20-something, um, we are moving straight ahead, and we've only got uh, 40-something more days until this election, people, and everybody is going wild. I feel like there's a state of depression going across America right now. How do you feel? Because I, you know, the the, the country is torn about 50-50. We don't know which way we're going. We don't know what somebody is going to pull. Um, the country is in disarray right now. Uh, Puffy has been locked up. You know, we know that. So Mayor Adams, today I wanted to talk about, I've been leaving out the last couple of weeks, <clears throat> our good friend, Mayor Eric Adams, the mayor of New York City, one of the biggest metropolises in the country, let alone the world. Okay, so Mayor Adams, if you heard, he said, I am not resigning. Now, to those of you that are not in your New York, you're like, Jania, what are you talking about? I am talking about that this New York City Adams administration has been going to shreds, okay? We've been watching it. Uh, last year, he got a probe from the FBI. Uh, they took his phones, you know, ran up on him in the street, and they took his phones, and they took everything, and then they started looking to see whether or not uh, he has been taking bribes, um, whether has, he's been not paid for play, whether or not they've had straw donors. Now, straw donors are uh, money that you um, money that you get um, from other people. So, say for instance, I've already given my contribution limit, which is I think in New York it's twenty seven hundred per individual, uh, fifty four hundred per household, uh, uh, husband and wife. Um, and so a straw donor would be, let me, I got money. My cousin doesn't have 2,700 for you, but let me go ahead and give her the 2,700, put her name down and say that she gave the money. Right. And so put her name on it. And this is what a straw donor is. And so they're saying that mayor Adams, now his straw donors might be a lot different because his, they're saying that his straw donors came for Turkey and they were not even eligible to vote. So they're putting people in that are eligible because they're foreign nationals and everything like that. And so the people that are eligible to vote, they giving him money to push the projects forward and things of that nature. So that's what he's into right now. We also have in New York, uh, the UN client conference. And so I believe the president was here uh, at least the other day. I was, I was downtown. They had um, police stops and screenings and all that stuff right there um, coming out of Central Park going into Midtown. So there's a lot going on in here in New York. But New York is atrocious right now. I don't know if, if, if you, where you are. Tap in to tell me where you are. But How's it doing in your city? Because New York is atrocious. First of all, there's trash all over New York City. Everywhere I look, trash is blowing. I can't stand it. Mayor Adams, we need you to step up or step out. Now, when I said that he's resigning, he's not resigning, excuse my language. He said he's not resigning amid all the other resignations in his cabinet here. Now, they're purging at the seams. They're bleeding, okay? So the police chief left. And I want to say the first Hispanic police chief, I was kind of happy with what was going on because I'm actually, I feel better about the cops. I don't feel like when I look in a New York City police officer's face that I'm looking as somebody that wants to hurt me. There has been a time where I look and say, oh, is he looking at me sideways? And there has been a time where they have been petty with stuff, right? But now I feel like 
we're all in this together. That they've kind of come to terms and say, we're not looking to hurt you. We are looking to do our job eight hours a week. We now we may need them to do a little more than that. I don't want to say that we just need them to be obsolete, but I like the fact that I don't feel um I don't feel intimidated when I see them. I feel more like I can run to an officer. Now I have seen that these officers are very young. And I think that that plays a big part on it. You know, they go to the police academy. I don't remember how long they spend in the police academy. Hopefully it's about eight months, but they go over all their stuff. And by the time they come out, they're supposed to be ready to hit the streets and hit the ground running. Now, I'm always a little uh, 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 about kids out here and trying to make a decision of what's right or wrong, especially for older people being in situations that they haven't experienced or people that they haven't experienced mental illness one-on-one. So I do feel some type of way about that. But the police chief resigned amid bribery bribery concerns. So he was raided. It was like five people's houses, more five more people's houses that was raided. And this is what our problem is. And now, now, Mayor, I don't want to be in your administration and then the FBI come knocking on my door and taking all of my electronics and then going back and finding whatever they can find on me. Now, I hopefully can get a clean slate if that happens. But who wants to go through that? Right. And why are we going through this? Are the, is this administration corrupt? And if so, if not, why is everybody resigning? So then you got your school's chancellor resigning. You got your health commissioner resigning. You got your chief counsel resigning. And that's after the the, the corporate counsel ha- had resigned earlier in May this year. So this is a purge, right? You know, all his top people. And he's running around acting like, oh, well, this is normal and you know, necessary in government politics. Mayor Adams, please, okay? We have watched you from day one and a lot of us were nervous about you, but now, you know, we want you to win, but this ain't working. So the FDNY first woman commissioner, she resigned and these people were talking about, I just want to go spend more time with my kids. Now this is a Miss New York City going to, I don't want to say the word, but this is a miss New York City hitting the deck. Okay. 